envy you being in action, Captain. Well, I've certainly seen my share, but I won't bore you with all that. Nonsense, Lord Weldon. I'm sure we'd like nothing more than to hear of your exploits. Well, my husband has bled for the Empire on three Very continents. Good. Really? I'm afraid the most that I can claim is a nick while shaving in Bangkok. Yes, ma'am. Sir. Thank you. I'm terribly sorry, but uh, there's a slight problem at the office. I promised I'll be back for the cure. I'm sorry, darling. Lord Weldon, I'm counting on you to keep this charming woman entertained. I'm only sorry I won't be able to hear all your stories myself. Nonsense, my dear fellow. I'll give you a repeat performance when you get back. And he'll enjoy every minute of it. Yes, well, I'm counting on that, actually. Excuse me. <laughs> have been trying to apprehend you for some time. Now, it's all over. It seems like I won't have time to hear your stories after all. Heavy water. Heavy water could be part of an explosive bomb like no other one on Earth. It's the atomically unstable cousin of H2O. Are you talking about what I think you're talking about? G2 thinks that the Nazis may be near a breakthrough. They say one of these bombs can create more damage than what's been done to London throughout the entire Blitz. Where do they keep this stuff? In the northern part of Denmark. Now, a British sub will drop you off near a little place called Aalborg. Why don't you just have the Air Force bomb this lab? Or is their dance card filled this week? That would just kill all the Danish scientists and the prisoners up on the upper section, which is something we cannot afford to do. All right, what about these prisoners? You want me to get him out alive? Or is that another one of your usual little gray areas? Stop being so sarcastic, Danko. Preventing the Nazis from getting this bomb might just be the most important mission of this war. Now, if you can save those Danish prisoners, save them. But nothing, nothing is to get on the way of the primary mission of blowing up the lab. Yes, sir. All right, what am I up against this time, sir? You'll have to work out some sort of a plan based on information in our intelligence file given to us by the Danish underground was compiled from the prisoners and the civilians who worked there. Sounds okay so far. The only problem is, what you won't find in that file, a way into the lab. You always save the best for last, don't you? Just the toughest. The lab itself. The only way in is through a bank vault door, 16 inches thick, solid steel. Who do you think is tougher, Superman or Green Lantern? No contest, man. Superman has stuffed the lantern like that. What if the Green Lantern had kryptonite? Oh, that's a tough one. But Green Lantern doesn't have kryptonite. I know. But if he did, he'd be tougher than Superman. Burn, burn, boy. We're not talking about if, we're talking about reality. And in reality, the Green Lantern doesn't have kryptonite. I go into combat with these guys. Oh. Look sharp, boneheads. Listen up. This is Trevor Embry. Trevor Embry? This is your new outfit. How do you do? Uh, he, Trevor? He did say Trevor. Yeah, he sure did. It appears I'm out of the frying pan and into the funhouse. 
Perhaps Danko thinks we need a little touch of uh, class. Yeah. Nonsense. The most my presence can do is add another hue to your already colorful group. Thank God. At last, a man who doesn't believe life is a comic book. I get the feeling that belief is about to be severely tested. Cheers. You ain't just whistling Dixie. So, given that we're, let's say, a special unit, are we accorded any special privileges? <laughs> like what? Like female companionship. Female <laughs> companionship? Yeah, right. This is our female companionship. Yes, well, she's very lovely, of course, but... Uh, She's a little bit uh, one-dimensional for my taste. I'm afraid you're gonna have to put your taste on hold for a while, Embry. All right, boys, get around. We got our next mission. The northern tip of Denmark is the Alborg hydrogen electrolysis plant. We've been in contact with a Danish underground group called Valkyrie. One of their members was held at this plant and later escaped. Provided us with a great deal of invaluable information about its basic layout security systems. All right, Emery here is going to get us through the bank vault door. It's the only way into the lab. It's solid steel. But even tougher is getting into the plant itself. Security looks impossible, Lieutenant. It is. Nothing gets in unless it's checked, rechecked, and checked again at the plant itself. They don't trust their own supply depots. They've even sealed up their sewers. Why would they do that? In Warsaw, the sewer systems were used as an escape room. But fortunately, gentlemen, Valkyrie has given us a way in. Anyone here curious about what they use if they don't have a sewer system? Or just that house in Denmark? <laughs> <laughs> Septic tanks. Septic tanks. They had a problem, and they thought they had a solution. But their solution is their weakness, gentlemen, and we're going to exploit it. Because what do you do with a septic tank when it's full? You better empty it. Quick. They do it with a tanker truck. So all we have to do is come up with a tanker truck of our own, make a few modifications. So anybody looking inside that truck would see exactly what they expect to see inside of a sewage truck. Glad I don't have that job. <laughs> our contact at Valkyrie is going to come up with a truck. All we have to do is make the modifications. And then we have a Trojan horse, gentlemen. That'll take us straight inside that plant. Well, maybe they didn't see the sub at all. Maybe they just watched us walk ashore. Maybe we should just move out, Lieutenant. This is crazy. Where are we going to go, Roy? We stay here and wait for Valkyrie. How long are we going to wait for this guy? As long as it takes, Vern. Is that a problem for you? And maybe it's a problem for all of us this time, Lieutenant. What's on your mind, soldier? Come on, spit it out. I'm saying we've got a busted mission. The Germans know we're here, the Danes don't. We don't have a clue as to how to find them. You've got a point, Lieutenant. we still got a sub out in the channel. We break radio silence to call that sub. The Germans could find us first. You ever think of that? The Germans already found us once, Lieutenant. They missed us the first time. You want to give them another shot or what? I suggest we scrub the mission, gentlemen, and find a taxi to take us home. All right, listen up, all of you. I've got my orders to stay right here and wait for Valkyrie to show up. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'll nail the first guy that dissipates those orders, you hear me?
Valkyrie? Yes. My name is Victor Anderson. Danko here. Sorry, I'm a bit late. So many patrols out today. Lucky they didn't find you before I did. I can't say we weren't a little worried. Sergeant, come on. Must hide you in Move out, man. Truck. We got a ride. Help me, buddy. Taxi? What are you doing out here, Herr uh, Anderson? Anderson. Well, what I'm always doing. First I deliver the beer, then I collect the empty kegs, and then I go to the brewery to get more beer. It's good since the occupation. Very well. Then maybe just to have a look. Have your beer. Wanted a little Danish beer, sir? If been a foot higher, I'd have been Burns' older sister. Oh, my neck. I'm gonna waste a good beer. Get me out of here! Everybody out! You can hide your stuff and your material in here. Take a bit, huh? Uh, Lieutenant Danko, this is my daughter, Ilse. Yes, yeah, the men will be safe in my house, but only for a few hours. All right, you guys, get this gear out into the house. Henry, come with me. The rest of you. Uh -uh. Oh, 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 allow me. Oh, goddess of the north. Thank you. <laughs> you don't have to be afraid of me, Miss Bonnie. Pregnancy isn't a disease, even if it does feel like some mornings. Gentlemen, I introduce you a very good friend of mine, Carl Jensen, another member of our small resistance group here. I understand from Victor that I can be of some help to you. I hope so. Sit down. What we need to know, Carl, is what kind of mechanism that old door contains. I saw it some month ago when they installed it. If I showed you a picture of it, do you think you could pick it out? I can try. What are those? Well, there are only two German firms that manufacture vaults. Thank you. Whatever uh, door they installed has to be in here somewhere. 
Excuse me. How people can find this anything other than fascinating. Excuse me. I hope I'm not bothering you. You're not bothering me. Not even a little bit. It's just that you remind me of my husband, Chris. I'm sorry about what happened to him. It must be very hard for you all alone. You're a brave woman. They took Chris away from us. And I miss him so much. If he is among those prisoners, we'll get him back. I promise you. You know something? He doesn't even know he's going to be a father. You look like him. That sweet smile. So young and... And I just wanted to speak to you. Look at you. Just for a while. I know it sounds strange, but... I understand. This one here. I think this is it. Twin tumblers with uh, synchronized time locks. One wrong click. And the alarm system screams like an eagle. You certainly know your safes. I've been an electrical engineer, but the Nazis made me their house mechanic. You break it. The time lock. See, the combination itself will only work at certain specified times. Can you blow it? It'll take at least three hours, maybe four. You'd have to drill through 16 inches of reinforced steel to plant the charges anywhere near the lock mechanism. What about from the inside? There must be a way to get the people out in case of an emergency. In an emergency, the guards on the inside trigger a mechanism which forces the door open. The prisoners are then let out under guard. And all we have to do is create an emergency on the inside. In the best shower at home. Lieutenant, is it possible that health waters is wrong again? No, Sergeant. I think they're right. For one. I found two separate air reconnaissance reports confirming several inciting last night. I want every building, house, farm, searched to the last inch. For equipment, arms, and people without identification cards. Give me a little more juice. Back up. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I always said that about you. To have the family take the news you ending up in prison, Trevor. What do you count? I'm interested. Both my parents are dead. I acquired my somewhat lavish taste as a boy in America. You see, for my first 11 years, we were uh, quite comfortable financially. An arrangement I grew rather fond of. Where's all this money today? Yeah, that was my next question. Gone with the wind, I'm afraid. Dear old dad was wiped out in the crash of 29. He chose to end it all. My mother couldn't handle his death. She died soon afterwards. I always say of grief. You know, my folks didn't have much. Mom always believed in Dad. No matter what the trouble. Sometimes, Farrell, I feel I'll never find a woman like that. So I just seem to settle for less. Yeah, well, I'd settle for a little less right now. You were born with a little less. <laughs> Anything more I can do? No, I think we've got it covered. The critical thing is you described the leads exactly what your past looks like. And we're going to need it to get through security. I can do better than that. Compliment of the Danish underground. That's great. The only one I could get. 
We use Pecky's picture. Let's hope it works. Okay, I'll move out of here. We'll see you back at Victor's. Thank you. Hey! Everybody looks down this hatch, all they're going to see is sewage. And I think we should have enough room left over for 11 of us. Riding in a sewage truck. <laughs> Good work. You got a sewage job? You call Lebec. This young American reminds you of Chris, no? It's not just a reminder, Father. I feel drawn to him. I try to understand this. But you love Chris. And you're going to have a child with him. The Americans come back. dollars an ounce. outside of Allberg. I want you to wait there. We'll pick you up after the raid on the plant. Do you hear me? All right, come on. Let's go. Emery, everything hinges on you, pal. Yeah. If the guards inside don't think there's a real emergency, that vault door isn't going to open. Right there, Governor. Becky, you handle the guys on the outside. Sergeant, Union men set off the master alarm. 
Yes, sir. I'll be across from the plant, just in case. Any questions? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, is there anything we can do about that smell? Yeah, we can let you right on top. All right, you guys, move out. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a pause. Was it a problem? The problem is you. Get out of the truck. Come on. Open it. to jump in. Close it. Get a better view. And get this truck out of here. Becky, get someone a little more headroom. You got it, Lieutenant.
Do as we say and we'll all get out of here alive. And we need to know where the evacuation alarm is in this section. It's in the commandant's office. Uh, what is your name? Farrell, what difference does it make? I need to find a prisoner named Chris Erickson. Farrell, our objective is to blow the plant. That's it, nothing more, period. Sarge, he's a senior engineer. You need him, don't you? He works in the shift supervisor's office under direct SS supervision. Where is that? That way. You have to shoot me, Sarge. Get to the Commandant's office as soon as you can. Let's go find that alone. Lady named Ilsa? Yes. She's all right, isn't she? Well, she's holding together for you and the kid. She's gonna have your baby. I didn't even know she was pregnant. The thought of her, you know, it's all that's kept me going all this month. Let's get out of here, Daddy. Come on. Wait, wait, get them out. Come on. Thank you. 
planter will kill everybody. Oh, God, I walked right into that. Could happen to anybody. Inside. Let's move out, Lieutenant. Let's go, Becky. Move this thing. Gonna ship you stateside for this one, Roy. Right, Lieutenant? No doubt about it. You looked out, pal. I don't think he can be moved. What are you talking about? We're shipping him back to Seattle. I'm sure one of his lungs has collapsed. If you move him now, you could lose him. Hey, no way. Roy's coming out with us. All right, wait a minute. If we move him, he could die. Then I'm gonna stay. All right, listen to me. Maybe. No, maybe, Lieutenant. If Roy is staying, I'm going to stay. Burr, now go. I'll be okay. I'm staying. Look, you go, and we nurse your brother to hell. Send him back to you through the underground. I'll make it back, Burr. <gasps>
is my husband, Chris. <laughs> We've already met. <laughs> She's the soldier who rescued us. <laughs> you should know how much your wife loves you. She nearly talked my ear off one night telling me all about you. <laughs> I miss you so much. So much. Yes, sir. Well, duty calls, huh? Someday invite me back. I'd love to see your kid. They'll name him Jonathan Carl Erickson. for help from an old friend gets Mark into high gear. Stay tuned for Hardcastle and McCormick next. And beginning on Monday, July 9th at 8, 7 Central, tune in for the dramatic miniseries George Washington on the Family Channel Movie.